You know, you know, you asked the same question over and over and over again. Were you it happened six days ago to be at the uh, hearing at the House where I testified? I was not, sir. Oh, well, see, I answered all those questions in in detail. Okay. The science is mixed. We all know the science is mixed. The economy is not mixed because the economics, uh, of the thing, are pretty well established, and I, and I think that's. Uh, how is the science it's mixed? With the it's National mixed. Academy of Science reports. Every Here's your sorry. science reports. And oh, every, oh, yeah, we have reports. We have, if you, all you have to do is go back and look. I've given numerous talks on the floor. I understand, where I started, but I'm asking where, you about no, the National Academy of Science. Let me your question. Well, the, the, we have, we started off with the list, I believe, of 40 scientists that were, that, that had view, uh, different views. Then it went up to two or 300. Then it went up to 900 or so. So there are a lot of scientists who don't agree. I don't take as gospel everything that comes from any particular scientific group. But what you know, every scientific organization in the world says not, this, sir. That's not true. Are they all part of the conspiracy? No, just, just read this. I have looked at that, sir. Yes. Yes. Have you read all the scientists that are I, there? I have Do you think that Richard Lindzen with MIT is, is a quack of some kind? or what? I mean, what's Richard Lindzen is an outlier when all of these scientific organizations in the world, and every political party in the world but your own, admits that climate change is happening, it's real, and it's dangerous. Why does your party keep insisting that's, that it's that's not? That, you're, you're wrong on that. The science is mixed on that. Well, and so you know it. I do not know that, sir. I think you've got a book coming too, don't you? Oh yeah. Like you, you, by the way, you should be ready for the book that's coming, which answers all of this. It gives the history and how far back we go mm -hmm. on, on this, which is really a long time ago, in terms of the United Nations, what their involvement was, and uh, so you'll find out. What, what, what do you tell you these know, people? I don't understand why my generation has to suffer because it sounds like you're not liking what you're hearing from the scientists that you're cheering. And, and so your your generation? Who, yeah, who are you with? I'm with the Alliance for Climate Protection, and I'm here speaking on behalf well, okay. of all Okay, well, there are a lot people. of groups that are out there. No, you're not. I, I have, absolutely I have am. 20 kids and grandkids. You want to see a picture of them? I'd love to. Oh, okay. Sure you might, too. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. But So what do we tell our kids? You know what you I know? Mean. What do we tell our kids? Here's mine. The same thing I tell mine. We're going to be looking at the science, and we're going to be looking at the economics, and we're going to be doing the right thing for America mm -hmm. and for the world. Okay. So the National Academy of Sciences, they're in on this conspiracy? I didn't say conspiracy. Do you think it's a conspiracy? All the scientists science is mixed. That's all. all you know the political that. parties yeah, yeah. are giving any. But it's really nice. To be with are you, guys. you willing to take that chance? Take the chance. You, it's, you what if you're wrong, Senator? What if you're wrong? We don't have a solution. Ninety-eight percent of the scientists say no, that's not right. And you know, you guys know it's not listen, right. Listen, you amazing. know what one of the most famous Republicans in this country said that when ninety-eight doctors tell me that my son needs a life-saving operation, and two doctors say that he doesn't, I go with the 98. You so know, when you, you, when you ask the that? question about, you know, what if you're wrong, stop and think about it. What if you're wrong? And it, we should pass the largest tax increase in the history of America to do something where there's, it's not justified. I remember, and I use this in the testimony, that uh, in 1993, you weren't around in 1993 in terms of uh, observing things, probably. But the Clinton-Gore tax increase was the largest tax increase at that point in history. All marginal rates, gasoline, everything was went up. That was a total of a $30 billion tax increase. This would be 10 times that great. This would be somewhere between $300 and $400 billion a tax increase. That admittedly, now listen to this very carefully, according to the director of the EPA, would not have any negative effect, wouldn't have any effect on, on emissions, because that would only be in the United States. As jobs went to places like India and China and Mexico, they'd be places where they don't have any emission requirements. It could actually increase the emissions. So should we do that when we know, and you know, and everyone I get here who's, uh, you know this, knows that the, it would not reduce worldwide emissions. Period. Sir, we all know that. Both China and India I think we've had that. Great. And it's time for Americans to take leadership on this. So you okay. will not apologize to my daughter? No. 
We apologize to my, my 20 kids and grandkids. I salute you for having 20 kids have, and grandkids, uh, sir. And thank you for your time. Protected. You're very welcome. It's not personal. I understand. And who are you, sir? Okay.